Hello guys, today I have interval training for you and we will be again incorporating aqua dumbbells, yay! Which means we're gonna focus a little bit more on strength, but what intervals means that we're also gonna do some sort of cardio in between. These transitions between cardio and strength won't be that frequent. We're gonna be about three minutes in each segment. We're gonna be focusing more on execution of the movement and the right form, and then tempo comes next. Still, you'll be able to burn a lot of calories, but remember, tempo is not priority here, especially when we are working with weights. Once we put them away for the next segment, yes, we're gonna go a little bit faster. I cannot wait to show you all of those moves. I hope you are ready. Let's go. Aqua aerobic with water dumbbells. This is interval training. It is about 40 minutes, and yes, it includes warm up and cool down. What you need are two water dumbbells, and water level around your chest would be ideal for this workout. Water shoes, it's your option, whatever you prefer. Welcome to my channel, my name is Marjena. I've been teaching classes for many, many years and I love to teach classes and I love sharing all my ideas with you. So, if you're interesting, if you want to learn some new great exercise, stay with me. New on my channel, welcome. Make sure you guys subscribe and then check my playlist. Many of you keep asking me, do you have this or do you have this type of workout? Yes, I do. You just have to search through all the playlists and I bet you're gonna find what you're looking for. Not just aqua, you're gonna find Pilates, mixture of yoga and Pilates, internal training on the mat and everything else in between. There are e even some great exercises for kids. Find me on Facebook, Fitness Anytime and Anywhere by Magena. New aqua workouts every Saturday. That's my new schedule. Guys, before you begin, make sure you are using right dumbbells. You should be able to push them with a little bit of effort below the surface and maintain them there for most of the time. We'll begin with warm-up, and this is a freelance warm-up, no equipment needed here for now. So put those dumbbells on the wall and just run around the pool. You're gonna first be round, curling your knees up, just like this, moving arms forward and then out to the side, and then I want you to come back backwards. Tempo of this segment is not supposed to be extremely fast. I want you to take your moment to just warm up and get used to the thought that you will be working really, really hard in a moment, but not yet. Feel? After you complete this workout, I want to hear from you. Were you challenged? Or could you do another one like this right after? If you do, you know what I'm gonna say, there's a bunch of great classes waiting there for you to be discovered. Check my playlist. Keep going, jog around, curling those knees and pay attention to your feet during warm-up. I want you to really make sure that you are rolling your foot from your toes down towards your heels. You can also run facing direction of the movement like this. And then if you decide come back backwards, fine. If you wanna just turn around, that's also fine. During warm up, I also suggest you incorporate a lot of wrist movement. You can either move your wrist out or in or side to side. Believe me or not, this workout will make you a little sore next day, which is a good thing, I believe. And you will feel that holding dumbbell so hard for about 40 minutes will be a big challenge. So now this is a moment that you are preparing your arms and your wrists for this 
that for the for that challenge keep going easy tempo if you guys have the entire lap lane available then go all the way to the other side and come back this warm-up is about five minutes so I'll wait for you okay If you are working out in a round pool, you can run around and then you can come back. All right, well now you're gonna need those dumbbells. This is part one and we're gonna do water jacks. Each strength part will be from two to three minutes and then we're gonna mix it with cardio. We will not be using dumbbells for most cardio segments, but now it's strength. So let me show you how it's supposed to look. You will be keeping your feet close to the bottom of the pool as you are pushing your feet out and in. You will be pushing dumbbells forward and then behind without leaning forward or sideways. You want your shoulders to stay and be square with your hips this entire time. Am I repeating myself, telling you again that those dumbbells has to be below the surface? Make sure this happens. If you are using right dumbbells, we should be able to maintain them below the surface, but I'm not gonna say it's supposed to be easy. This is a workout, right? So, keep going. Put all your strength into this movement. Feel how your chest muscles are engaged and then once you are pushing dumbbells behind, back muscles, hello, keep going. In and out, breath into the nose, exhale out through your mouth, just like that. It's okay if you add a little bit of the bouncing movement here. Not too much though. Just a little bit is all we need. Do you feel those arms already? I know you do. I want you to keep going. None of the exercise that we're gonna do once will happen again in this workout. So, I want you to go as long as you can, maintain great form, and really, really exhaust this particular muscle group. Keep going, breath in and out. Don't forget about your feet. You want your heels to touch the ground every now and then. Exhale with the most challenging segment. Keep going. If you can hear your breath, it's good enough. If you cannot, let me say that again. I want you to breathe louder. Oh, I know, I can be quite annoying. You probably enjoyed my recent video where I accidentally forgot to attach voiceover. Hmm? Well, that was one mistake and it will not happen again. I will keep reminding you how to do everything. Yes, it's getting very challenging. So this is interval training, but those segments for strength and cardio will be way longer than what we do during intensive, high intensity safety workouts. We're not gonna have many breaks in between. The only breaks are a few seconds for a drink or water. No equipment, cardio segment. This is all about tempo, speed. We're gonna run extremely fast. You already know that, yes, from warm up. But this is different. Before, we were really just playing with this movement. Now, I want you to run as fast as you can to the other side of the pool. I don't care if you have an entire lap lane or your pool is smaller. I want you to go to the other side and then come back. You can come back facing direction of the movement or you can come back backwards. But let me say that again. 
and it has to be extremely fast run. Maybe imagine there is a family of sharks behind you. How fast would you run if that was true? I bet you would run just a tiny bit faster than right now. Come on. Doing cardio at 50, 60, 70 percent of your best will feel very, very different at the end than if you really get closer to the 85, maybe even 95. You guys are gonna feel that 40 minute workout, if you do your best, is all you need. I promise. You just have to stay focused and do your absolutely best. You already know, every segment will be anywhere from two to three minutes. So keep checking on your camera, on your phone, so I can show you where the next segment comes, but expect to go to the other side without looking at your phone at least a couple times, all right? Keep going, run, 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 run. There is very little bouncing up and down. Why? Because if there was a real shark behind you, you wouldn't like to waste your energy for bouncing up and down or fixing your hair or doing anything else. You would be getting out of this pool or to the other side extremely fast. We all know that. Now we need water dumbbells again. Part two, scissors. We're gonna do eight on the right, like this. And then, before you switch side, you're gonna push dumbbells down and do kicks like this twice. And then you're gonna switch side. And let me tell you this, it's gonna be easy on one side and somehow awkward for most of us on the other side. But I want you to keep trying, do your best on each side. Make right side as symmetrical to the left as possible. Are you enjoying music today? Let me know. Always exhale out. Now those split jumps are fantastic. They open up our hips, they release tension from around our hips, and that is why it feels good. It's a challenging move, but it also feels good. Notice there is zero jumping up and down with any of this exercise here we are floating so obviously no but also here I'm not jumping up I'm just moving my feet off the ground that's it keep going I'm here to remind you again this is not recover you still want to maintain great tempo but your form and how you execute each move is way more important when we work with dumbbells. Then when cardio comes, I'm not gonna brag about this that much, okay? Exhale, moving those feet up. Notice that I switch sides all the time, facing back or sides of the pool. You don't have to do it. I'm just trying to do my best so you could see those moves and I hope that is very helpful. But if you wanna face the same side of your pool, of your room, that's absolutely okay. If there are any moves where motion is required, I will let you know. Put those dumbbells away, you are done with it. There are no equipment needed for this next segment, but what's needed is your energy. So wake up, high knees, skip A, arms up four times. Yes, you won't be touching the water here, and then you will be splashing water out. Now here's what you wanna see once your hands are in the water. You see that wave? I want yours to be bigger than that, better than that. If you really want to target your tricep and your back muscles, please do your best. 
you're gonna see that splash it's actually more of the wave than splash and I want you to hear it keep moving those knees up and down and remember there is a little bit of impact now so it's important you are rolling your feet from toes to heels have fun with it too Many of my students don't like when we do moves above the water. Why is so? It's actually fun. And yes, we are working our arms because our arms are heavy. So this muscle is getting a workout too. Don't think that it's just useless swinging arms up and down. No, it's not. It's also a great dynamic stretch. As much as I love being in the water, I always want to remind you that most of the day we are not in the water. So we should be incorporating a lot of exercise on land as well. Have you checked my playlist recently? Maybe, just because maybe you're gonna find something for yourself. My aqua workouts are very popular and I want to convince more people to learn classes. We need dumbbells right now. So let's do it. We're gonna have front and back kicks. It is the same leg kicking forward and back seven times. Why? Because I want you to end it up on the opposite side after we do crisscross. One, two, you're gonna open and then close your arms open and close and open and then you're gonna switch left keep going it may seem like it's a best exercise for legs but it's probably even better for your core keep going make sure you can again see the water flow and hear it push Yes, open up those arms, line them up, then close it. Notice how far away from my shoulders are dumbbells at all times. Sometimes it happens that we eventually bend our arms and we bring dumbbells so close to the chest. Let's not do it. Like you are standing on now is grounded. When you do cross-country skiing, this version, I want you to push your toes forward and back, but don't bounce up and down. Switch leg. Remember, there are seven or eight on each side, and then it's crisscross. But you have to remember to keep track which leg you did. Breathing out, can you hear yourself? Exhale, let it go. Then cross country, use your strength. Deal with that resistance. Oh, I have to tell you guys, I'm loving aqua workouts more and more. These days when I'm recording more and more classes, I just fall in love with water, so much more and I appreciate what it does to my body. I hope you feel the same. I really do. If you are watching this video, you probably do, right? Using those apps, hello beautiful apps, cross country is a total body exercise. Keep those dumbbells below the surface. Woo! Done for now. Let's put those big guys away because it's cardio. Take a quick water break if you want to. I will show you next move. We will do cross country skiing, but look what's different now. We are now tucking knees up. Watch, knees up. And then you push your feet forward and down. 
almost like you were jumping over something. Let's go. It's fast, it's challenging, it's intensive. This time, you're gonna go a little bit easier on your arms. All I want you to do is just push one pump forward, the other one back. Don't incorporate any other moves because, okay, I just did. <laughs> but it's still something easy, okay? Don't put anything that would really challenge your upper body because there's gonna be another segment with dumbbells and I want you to put your strength right there, okay? So right now we are pushing arms forward and then side to side, but it's an easy, almost like a shaky movement, almost like you try to throw something out or forward. It's kind of funky. If you are doing this and you are not smiling, I don't know what's wrong with you. Come on, keep smiling. <laughs> this is a really happy exercise. And if you are smiling, you are working additional muscle groups, so that's even better. Keep going, knees up and down. Why it matters so much? Because we are working core even better now. I want you to move fast. Is this the faster version of this one you can do? Come on, answer yourself this question. What are you holding your energy for? Keep going, switch and switch. I want you to stay consistent. Not bad at all. And it's a perfect timing for water break. And you need dumbbells again, woo! And we are officially halfway through. Part four, uppercut four times, roll over four times. Oh, this is gonna be very good. You're gonna press that dumbbell down one at a time and then scoop it and move it off the surface. Yes, for a second. Next, you are rolling over front back, front back, just like this four times yeah let's do it again and now remember there has to be this mindset shift it's all about how you do it how much strength you are putting into the movement and are you doing this right tempo comes along next but it's not a priority If you complete this entire workout today, next day I want you to pick something different, something without dumbbells, okay? Maybe it's going to be something with noodles, maybe you're going to choose a workout with zero equipment. Switch things up. Or maybe you're going to do Pilates on a mat. Yes, we need a big variety of exercise. Keep going, breathe through it, extra out. Never work out with your lips closed. It's not good, it's not healthy, it's not how it's supposed to be done. You breathe out through your mouth. And by the way, if you can do any exercise with your lips closed, it's not challenging. Put those dumbbells away. Yes, we are switching back to cardio, which means heart rate up. Are you ready? It's gonna be cross country skiing and we're gonna do power jump. And by that I mean you're gonna jump up and down or do knee tuck if power jump is not your choice. So watch, one, two, three, and then you're gonna jump up, yes. Belly button above the surface is our goal. Good plan, huh? Let's give it a try. 
Now, if you want to work your arms, you will link your fingertips and you'll be, you'll be pushing your palms back, palms face back. That will create a lot of resistance and it's giving you even better workout. But in a moment, I will show you also option how you can go a little bit easier just in case those dumbbells gave you really hard time, okay? So stick with me. Three times and jump. One, two, three, and jump. Again, if you don't wanna jump up and down, you're gonna do knee tucks instead. You know how that goes. Always remember that if your right foot moves forward, you wanna extend your left arm. That's how cross country should be like. Breathing is fast again and it's chasing tempo of this exercise, which is fast. Yes or yes? Sure it is. It's cardio segment. All right, now really work those arms. I want you to look down under the surface and see what your palms are doing. If you can hear how they push the water behind, it's good enough. Keep going, it's an awesome exercise. Now watch this version, a little easier. So instead of dragging palms back, you just push palms forward. They face forward now. This is so, so option, but it's good to know that we can do something different every now and then, if again, sometimes too much is too much. That second option is also great if you just had a new manicure done and you may wanna show off a little, huh? But if you are overdue for your appointment, then that first version will be way better. And that's exactly what I'm using this one today. <laughs> Keep going. After all, it's all quarantine workouts, right? For most of us. <laughs> Keep going, deal with the resistance. Cross country is such a happy exercise. It really is. And we are done with this segment. I know you are challenged. This is a good moment for water break and also to come back to dumbbells. Which means we're gonna be tough on arms. Aqua jacks four times, but it's gonna be a little different at the end. Watch, knees up and then knee up, kick, both feet forward. Let me show you again, jump out, in, out, and now knees up, you push dumbbells back and then kick with both feet. Super cool, out, in, out, and now dumbbells back, knees up, almost like you sit on a chair and then push, lovely. In, out, in, dumbbells go back, knees up, feet off the ground, and boom. Very cool, keep going. And remember, forget about speed, especially during those first reps. I want you to take your time, do best you can. Technique, 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 priorities. For anyone who's maybe non-swimmer or afraid of basically floating exercise, you can just do one knee up and then front kick. And then every other time you would be alternating which leg does knee and kick. But remember, there's also aqua belt that you can incorporate in that case. Whatever is better for you.
All right, so now I want you to pick up a little bit of tempo because you already know how everything looks. Knees up, good, and front kick. And now I really want you to work on that strength. With every single move, I want you to feel how your body is getting uncomfortable with another repetition and then another one. And yet, we're gonna do more. Because remember, when it feels a little uncomfortable, whether it's stretch or strength, this is when really we should, this is a good workout and this is how we're gonna see changes to our body. Remember, it's never a pain, but it's working out uncomfortable. Yes, it is. Quite often it is. Keep going, keep going. In and out, knees up, and push. And yes, eventually if you wanna open up your feet more with that kick, go for it. There are really no rules here. If you wanna do that V kick, absolutely. Keep going, keep going, control your breathing. And again, if you can hear yourself, it's good enough. Somebody's gonna be sore tomorrow. Who is that gonna be? Let me know in the comments. And we are taking another water break, but here's the secret. Don't tell anyone. Don't put dumbbells away because we're gonna need them twice now. This is the last segment. And we actually gonna do cardio with dumbbells while jogging. Shifting body weight from side to side, pushing dumbbells down, palms are facing back like this. We are breathing fast, we are moving heart rate up. And I really wanna take a moment to explain you how doing the same move, but focusing on two different things will actually be two different exercises. So firstly, just focus on shifting body weight from side to side, from side to side. Lifting up those knees as high off the ground as you can. Moving elbows above the surface. So you will be focusing firstly on that pulling movement up. That is why it's pretty easy for our upper body. It's a great dynamic stretch though. So just have fun with it, move a little bit around, move forward, move backward. Keep going. This exercise definitely looks a little silly. <laughs> All right. Now I want you to push it down faster. So focus on pushing dumbbell down, right and left, right and left. Notice if you move your right foot up, you push left dumbbell down. Can you feel the difference? Yes, you can. It's way more intensive. It's way more challenging for your upper body now. Push harder, come on. Push, push, push. Very, very different than before when we were just rocking our body weight. Try that again, rock it. Lift up your elbow and then speed it up again. Do eight of each and feel the difference. Remember, the more often you confuse your body with those transitions, the better. Right, so elbows up again, up, 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 range of motion. And then push it down. Come on, push, 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 push. 
hard work everybody we are getting closer to an end and you know what happens closer to an end i am reminding you do your best don't hold back put the rest of your great energy right here right now and then be proud of yourself but don't be proud of yourself yet okay put one dumbbell away wood chopper Woo! this one i don't have to explain so much what do i no i don't you want to feel you are using mostly your core and then arms all right swinging it and dragging the dumbbell from the surface with the diagonal line down down almost like you go from one hip to the other elbow wood chopper keep going now if you are holding your breath now then i don't know how is it possible this one is such a challenging exercise for abs that you can't hold your breath keep going exhale let it go let it go burn those calories work your arms it's an entire core exercise swing it and chop it and swing it and chop it. keep on going breathing out there you go couple more times remember you are taking day off from using dumbbells tomorrow so you can definitely put a little bit more into this segment now. Keep going. Press and press. Are you still doing your best? Come on, don't fall asleep. We keep working, keep working. It's still more fun than chopping a real wood. I had a pleasure to try it. It was such a challenge. Keep on going. We are almost done, but that almost done. It's cool down and stretch. And I don't want you to skip this one. You work really hard. We build up that strength. And it's now time for our muscles to recover a little bit. If you guys have a moment, share this workout with your friends and family. I would really appreciate that. It helps to support my channel. And when it grows, my videos will be better. I promise. Yes, it's official. Put those dumbbells away. Cool down is here. No equipment needed. Just allow your arm to float side to side. Oh, I feel so good. Keep going. You really want to surrender a little bit to that resistance, okay? Let's now move on to kicks, but shake your foot a little bit. Forward and sideways. Forward and sideways. Yes, allow those wrists to loosen up that tension. Good. Curl your left toe back, extend your right arm forward. Give it a little float here. Lean forward and move your knee back as far as you can. Don't force yourself. If it's hard, you can even let your toes go and balance on one leg. Breath into the nose, exhale out through your mouth. Surely we wanna do the same on the other side. It feels so good. Keep going. Are you smiling now? 
Are you happy that you did such a great workout for yourself? Curl your toe back, lean forward, stretch, lift up your chest and move your shoulders away from ears. Good. Round up your back and then lift up your chest. Look up. Bend from side to side, reaching over, hold that stretch. And gently stretch your neck. Let your head to be heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Switch side. Reach up, reach up a little bit higher, come on. And very gently press on your head, gently. Just let your head to be down. Good. For the next exercise, I want you to get a little closer to the wall. Put your hands on a wall and then move your feet up as close to the top of the pool as you can. Your legs will create V position. Just hold it. And we are done for today. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for choosing my channel and my workouts. It means everything to me. I hope you're gonna consider my other exercise on the mat. Just search through those playlists. Check my channel next week, every Saturday, new aqua video. Any other videos will just pop on during the week. Have a wonderful day.